Well, the results are in. Hey YouTube, welcome to Project Golf Course Lawn Season 5. Well, this is episode five, also in the series on Fix My Ugly Lawn featuring Alex. Um, and if you guys remember from our last episode, we were doing a soil test. Well, the results are in. Uh, you know, we sent the test off to my soil. If you guys, um, just a quick recap, we collected soil samples from seven different spots in the, in the lawn. Uh, we sent those results off, and less than a week later from the time we sent them, we got the, uh, I got the email notification with the results. So the news is good and bad. The, the, the good news is that the lawn's looking better. The bad news is that the soil needs a lot of work, which is kind of good news, right? Because if, if, the soil's are, if the lawn's already improving and the soil's really not where it needs to be, it's gonna look even that much better once we fix, solve all the problems. I'll talk through some of the things that, um, that we saw in the, in the soil, soil results. So you'll see that his nitrogen is really low, his phosphorus is low, his potassium is low, pretty much all the major macronutrients that you really need to um, have it at, at reasonable levels in his lawn are, are below where they need to be. Uh, if we go back to that graphic, um, you know, his iron is low, zinc, copper all the little micronutrients are also very low the one good thing though is that his ph is where we want it where, where it needs to be so that's so that's really good we don't need to add lime or anything like that to the lawn as yet to adjust his ph um, so what this means at this point is we're going to have to um, bring the levels up bring the macronutrient levels up and we're also going to um, do something about the the iron as well as you guys saw on that chart like pretty much everything is low which means it's going to take take uh, some major amendments to get to get the lawn where it needs to be so let me show you guys what, what, we're, gonna, what we're gonna be using to do that. Um, I went down to my, to my local um, Central Turf Irrigation. Shout out to you guys in Buford. Thank you so much for, for, for helping us out. And I was looking for the equivalent of a starter fertilizer. So if you look at the results that you'll get whenever you get, when you get your results from my soil, um, they'll, they'll also give you a recommendation of what kind of fertilizer you should put down, uh, what products you should put down to, to, to fix the issues in the lawn. And for his lawn, they recommended like a triple 15. Um, finding that locally is really hard. We could have could have ordered it online, um, but I wanted to get something that people that are local here can easily find. And, and honestly, as long as you, you, you're using a product that has enough nitrogen, um, enough phosphorus, and then um, and you have some way to add potassium, you're gonna be fine. So, I'm, so even though the, the fertilizer we're using is one that's local to the area, um, I'll have some, some options in the description for you guys that are gonna be going to Home Depot to get some fertilizer, or if you're ordering on Amazon, I'll have some links in the description for um, a stack that you guys can use that will allow you to get the same results. Because remember, at this point, we are just really trying to raise the levels of everything in the soil because everything is, is so low, as you guys saw in that chart. So what we're using here is a, um, a mixture that is, it's an 18, it's an 18, 24, 12. So the big thing about this that I like is that if you look at most modern fertilizers, is that um, finding um, potassium in fertilizers is pretty easy. Finding nitrogen fertilizers is pretty easy, but, but that middle one, finding the, um, the, the phosphorus can be a bit of a challenge. So by finding, by, by getting this stuff, which is again, pretty high in, in phosphorus content, um, we, you know, we're gonna be able to hopefully bring the levels up to where they need to be, which is gonna be a good thing. Uh, in addition, because this doesn't really contain the iron and we really need to get his iron levels up because they're, they're, they're incredibly low, um, we're also going to be applying a, um, an application of Brandt Supreme Green. That's what I've got mixed up here in, this, in the sprayer. So what you guys are going to see is us apply this to the, to the entire lawn, and then we're going to follow that up with an application of Brandt Supreme Green to get that iron boost. So this has a little bit of nitrogen in it, but primarily we're using this to, to fill in the micronutrient deficiencies. So. Let's get into it, guys. I'm gonna um, take this now. We'll uh, we'll pour this into the hopper and we'll start throwing this product down. And guys, I know I'm violating my rule about not filling up the hopper um, on turf. So I always tell you guys not, never to do that. One thing I did make sure is one, the the, the prill in this in this uh, fertilizer is really big. And I made doubly, like triply sure that the, that the, the, the hopper was completely closed off. So yes, I know I was tell you guys not to do this, but just so we didn't have to come and move this all over to the patio and just makes the filming harder, that's why we we're seeing us doing it here. But really, whenever you're putting fertilizer in a hopper, you really don't want to do that on your turf because you just if you, if it spills, you're gonna burn wherever wherever that that fertilizer is. We just took extra precautions to make sure that, that doesn't happen. So just just a small tip, just so you guys are are aware of that. Let's throw some fertilizer down.
All right, YouTube, phase one is done. The uh, granular fertilizer's down, which should really help boost our, our macros. So the next thing we're gonna throw down is this, the brand Supreme Green. You guys have seen this before. There's nothing new about this product. This is gonna allow us to get the, the iron, um, the magnesium, the other micronutrients that were really low in Alex's uh, report. We're gonna get those boosted with that. And Alex, as you guys can see today, guys, he's running the chapin today. See, I, I've been retired. I, I'm, 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 you know, I'm, just, I'm not worthy anymore. He's like, you know, Ron, it's my lawn. I got this. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do my thing. So you see, he's armed up. All right, guys, let's get going. Well, there we go, guys. We've applied the granular fertilizer to the lawn and you just saw Alex do, I think, an amazing job throwing down some Brant Supreme Green. So just to recap, the granular fertilizer is gonna be do the heavy lifting. It's gonna bring the nitrogen, the phosphorus, and the potassium levels up in the lawn. And the Brant Supreme Green, while it has a little bit of nitrogen in it, the main thing we're after that for are for the iron and other micronutrients. So guys, what's gonna happen now is we figure about a month or so will allow this to kind of work in the soil. We'll do another soil test and then we'll see how the amendments are working. Also keep in mind that Alex, once he gets his sprinklers installed, which is coming soon, uh, we're gonna top dress the lawn. So we wanted to get this in done, done first, just allow the, the soil to start getting healthy. And we put that fresh layer of topsoil in and, and sand mix, that top dressing mix, um, you know, it's gonna be even that much better. We're gonna try and fix a little bit, a lot of what we've already got here. And then when you bring some fresh organic material in and some river sand, the, the turf's gonna be even that much better. Guys, thank you so much for watching. We really, truly do appreciate it. We really hope you guys are enjoying the series. I mean, as you can tell, his lawn is already looking really, really good, guys, and we're just getting started. I mean, we're only, you know, five weeks into this process. We still have to top dress. We still have to get irrigation in it. And, you know, as the summer heat really picks up, I'm really confident in how good this lawn is going gonna, is gonna to come out. So guys, if you're not yet a subscriber, please consider subscribing. I mean, this is a really fun series. We're trying to make it um, as, as, as much of a documentary as possible to try and help people. If you're not, you know, if you don't have a Ron Henry right next to you, you could follow this, this series and, and use the steps that we're following to fix your lawn. Again, um, the items that we use, the fertilizers that we use, and the Supreme Green um, that we use are not easy to find on Amazon. So what I'll do is I'm gonna find, I'm gonna, and in the description, I'm gonna link a, um, some, some alternatives that you can use that allow you to get the same result if you're, depending on what you, where your, your amendments are. Um, and you know, so, so you have an option if you don't have the exact same, um, the same products that, that we have access to. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Make sure you do it. Hit the subscribe button right now. And uh, we will see you guys next time. Have an amazing day.